And I'll tell you guys right now, America is not divided by race or religion. It's divided by intelligence. Wow, guys, this ABC News host was forced to call Kamala Harris a liar after she's seen these undeniable facts. Check this out. As a prosecutor, I never asked a victim or a witness, are you a Republican or a Democrat? The only thing I ever asked them, are you OK? And that's the kind of president we need right now. Someone who cares about you and is not putting themselves first. I intend to be a president for all Americans. Vice President Kamala Harris making her closing argument at Tuesday's debate on ABC. I'm joined now by Massachusetts Governor Maura Healey, clearly a supporter of Kamala Harris. You know, Democrats said quickly that Kamala Harris won the debate. In fact, our poll found 58% of the voters thought she was the clear winner. And yet that performance did not overall move the needle. They're... And she's exactly right. That performance did not overall move the needle you know because all the media outlets that you know that support kamala harris said she either won or they want to see more and all the other ones that are conservative and they support trump or they just think for themselves they said trump won it was a tie or they want to see another debate i don't like that how all these media outlets are just coming after trump it was a three versus one debate he did what he could he he ho he held his own and we just need to say another one. We already know Kamala Harris is a liar. And she's going to do whatever she can to win. That's why she was in hotel rooms practicing the questions that they asked. She didn't even have to think for a second because she already rehearsed this. Let's keep going, guys. I don't want to pause it a lot. So let's just finish this video out. They're basically in the <clears throat> same place as before the debate. Does that surprise you? No, not at all. I, Martha, we know that this is going to be a close race. And Kamala Harris says that she's an underdog. But what's important is that she and Tim Walls have built a campaign for a close race. They're opening an unbelievable number of offices around the country, tons of staff, tons of volunteers. Um, the enthusiasm has been really strong. And I think what's very important also is that she and Tim are playing for every voter. They're going to red counties. They're going to red districts, right? Because as she said in her closing argument, I'm going to be a president for all Americans. You may not agree with me on everything, but I'm going to be here for you and your family. And one thing that the debate demonstrated to me, at least, is that Kamala Harris is about you. She's about the American people. She's thinking about your family. Donald Trump's just about himself. Remember, Kamala Harris is the one who's out there saying she's going to cut taxes for 100 million Americans. She's going to provide a tax credit to families with children. She's going to produce more housing around the country so we can lower housing costs. She's focused on lowering the cost of prescription drugs and groceries. Governor, I, what have I we heard from Donald Trump. Be All these things are things that Donald Trump did. She's literally trying to take his presidency from up underneath him. Everything that he did while he was president. It's everything she's trying to do now. She's trying to win exactly on what he did. But she can't win on immigration. She can't win on immigration. That's why we have people coming over here. Yes, I'm going to say it. Eating cats and dogs. That's why we have that stuff going on. That That's exactly why this stuff is going on. Because she's in office and Joe Biden's in office. People keep electing these Democrats thinking they're going to see a miracle. You're never going to see a miracle electing Democrats. I know people that got houses when Trump was in president. And they never thought they'd get houses. I, I, I've seen it firsthand. You know what I mean? I don't like how people think Kamala's going to get in office and she's going to make a miracle. She messed around, might use the nuclear launch codes. We might go be in an all-out war if she's in office. You might have to go to the gas station and it's $17, you know, to get a fill-up. You know what I mean? People aren't, aren't going to tell you the deep dive behind this. Kamala Harris is, is, is literally in pictures with P. Diddy. Search up P. Diddy in Google and tell me what you see. I'm telling you guys, vote for the right person. Vote vote with your wallet. Vote with your wallet. That's, that's what I'm going to tell you. Stop stop voting with what you see in the media. Vote with what's in your wallet. Because if you don't vote with what's in your wallet, man, you guys, man, you ain't going to have no wallet. <laughs> Let's keep going. Beyond, beyond the, 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 the pets and the like. So, you know, the debate, we've moved on from the debate. It's about the campaign. Governor, I, I want to go back to the debate because that was important, and I want to go through a few things that Kamala Harris said. I want to ask you about her comments about the military. She said during the debate this 
about the U.S. military. Let's listen. As of today, there is not one member of the United States military who is in active duty in a combat zone in any war zone around the world the first time this century. Our fact checkers found that to be false, and I have a lot of experience in that area as well. There are currently 900 U.S. military personnel in Syria, 2,500 U.S. troops in Iraq. All have been under regular threat from drones and missiles for months. We also have action in the Red Sea. We also, every single day, the Navy SEALs, Delta Forces, special operators uh, can be part of any sort of deadly raid. So why would she make that claim? I think what's important here, Martha, is that Kamala Harris, in contrast to Donald Trump, demonstrated herself to be commander in chief. We are in a world where there are all sorts of conflicts, and it's all the more reason we need somebody who's serious and who supports the military. And just remember, but Governor, uh, but Governor, excuse me, but she said there is not one member of the United States military who is an active duty in a combat zone. That is not true. You say she demonstrated her ability to be commander in chief, but did she not know about these people in Syria and Iraq? Why would she say that? Look, that was a comment. That was a comment in a debate. I think the point that she was trying to make was a broader point. And of course, we have military in place all around this country. That's important. We're the United States of America. And Kamala Harris, remember, is the person who stands with NATO, who supports our allies, who's working to bring countries together. Donald Trump stands with Vladimir Putin. So, And this is the same exact person that's sending trillions and billions or whatever you want to call it, money over there, money that we have to pay out of our pocket. The reason why inflation is out the roof, the reason why we can't just go to the grocery store, you know, with $100 maybe, and feed a whole family of eight. You used to be able to do that. Now you need three, four hundred, five hundred dollars, you know, to feed a family of eight when Kamala's in office. And Trump, he meeting with, with with Vladimir Putin was probably one of the best things ever because you don't know what guy like that is up to, invading Ukraine. You know what I mean? You have to really think about that. I would rather a guy be our ally and we tell them, oh, don't go over there, rather than him going over there and now we're sending sending money to the enemy coming out of our pocket. Sit here for a second, guys. Sit here for a second and tell me how that makes sense. None of this stuff was happening when, you know, Trump was in office. But they want to tell you that Kamala is going to make a change. Kamala messed around trying to nuke Russia and all his allies come over here. And I'm trying to tell you guys, like, you literally have to just just look. Just look through that dark, dark, dark tunnel and choose the right person because Kamala is not that. So, you know, I think that's what's really important. Kamala Harris, she respects our military. She respects our service members. Donald Trump calls them suckers and losers. And it's why Donald Trump's former military generals support Kamala Harris. They say that Donald Trump shouldn't be anywhere near the Oval Office. And I think those are the points, Martha, that people need to understand. We live in a world of very serious times with serious consequences and the actions of the next commander in chief matter. Kamala Harris will be that commander in chief and lead us forward in freedom, working and, with and others. Governor, Governor, I want to hit another. Com- I, I want to stick to up to Governor. I want to stick. Donald Trump was the same exact person that had our troops home. You know, and when he left office, these troops left. They're getting their heads blown off, their legs blown off. And we're supposed to be all right with that. But he's the same person that doesn't want what's best for him. Okay. <laughs> I want to stick to Kamala Harris here. On abortion, Vice President Harris did not make clear whether she supports any restrictions on abortion. Currently, nine states and the District of Columbia have no gestational ban, ban on abortions. Your state of Massachusetts has a ban on abortion after 24 weeks. Your state drew a line. Should she let people know where she stands and draw some sort of line? Ban it. She already did, Martha. What she said is, let's go back to Roe, which, by the way, contrary to what Donald Trump says, nobody was asking to be overturned except for some segment. She's been clear, and I can tell you that because I myself am a former prosecutor, former attorney general, very familiar with abortion laws, and we both respect the right for people, first off, to make their own individual 
decisions about their body and what they want to do. That's very important. Women and families should have that choice. That includes the choice not to have an abortion. But what Kamala Harris has said is she wants to take us back to Roe, which allowed for abortion in certain circumstances. Donald Trump is, you know, here's what's really important. He did not say the other day in the debate that he would veto a national abortion ban. And in fact, he supports abortion bans just like the Trump abortion ban that's on the ballot in Florida. And it's appalling. It's appalling what that means for women, for families, for their health. And, you know, that is a clear, clear distinction in this race. Kamala Harris wants to bring us back to the Roe period where we had protections in place and access. Uh, we weren't jailing doctors. Women weren't bleeding out and afraid. Uh, husbands and wives who wanted uh, to, to have children, you know, were able to access and, and make the, the health care decisions that they need to be able to protect their ability to do so. Uh, victims of, of rape and incest had relief. Donald Trump, wants to take all of that away. Governor, that I want I want to move on to the economy. Difference. There, there, there is a clear difference there. Uh, Governor, I want to, in terms of the uh, economy, Vice President Harris says she has a plan for lifting the middle class. But right now, the middle class under the Biden-Harris administration, eggs are up 119 percent, bread up 25 percent, chicken up 25 percent, the median home price is up 39 percent. This is the Biden-Harris administration. What did I just tell you guys? You go to the store, you can't afford much. Why? Because you have Kamala and Joe Biden in office doing God's know what. They're focused on transgender day of caring rather than focusing on you going to the grocery store and able to f afford food. That's what they're focused on. And if they get in office, I believe, personally, I believe that it's only going to get worse. It's going to be expensive. They're taking your sons away. 15, the ages of 25, taking them away probably to go go to war. Come back with a, a missing leg or you might come back. They might have a a, a, a U.S. flag telling he fought for this country. And what what would you say then? What would you have to say then? I voted Kamala. Okay, now, now, now you're down a son. Now you're down a daughter. You know what I mean? And Trump never said he wanted to ban abortion. Trump never said that. He said... He said exactly under certain circumstances or leave it up to the state. But people want to take this and they want to run with it and frame this guy as a bad person. And I'm not going to sit there and let someone get picked on. I don't think that's ever fair. That, that That's very cowardly to sit there and not spread the truth like I try to do. That's very cowardly. And it'd be very cowardly for you not to speak up on whatever platform you have to not tell your friends that's the wrong person to vote for and not give them at least some articles to go look at. Some, some videos of Trump telling his part of the story, the truth. And I'll tell you guys right now, America is not divided by race or religion. It's divided by intelligence. I keep saying that. Let's finish this video, out, guys. Catch him in the back end. And Donald Trump is leading on the economy and immigration. What are your people saying to you? You must hear that as a governor. Yeah, and, and look, I try to explain to people as governor, here's how we got here, okay? We had COVID, which Trump did not handle well. Uh, there had to be a huge infusion of money to save our small businesses and, and to help our, all of our states. Inflation rose as a result. And what's happened under the Biden-Harris administration is they've actually worked to bring down inflation. There is still work to do. What's important, Martha, going forward is that Donald Trump wants to make permanent tax cuts for the ultra-wealthy among us, okay, which is only going to burden us with more debt. He also wants to put on more tariffs, which are going to raise consumer prices for all of us. In contrast, Kamala Harris has said, I'm going to lay the foundation to see further reductions in the interest rates, which I think we'll see soon, and prices are going to come down. But okay, you, you know, it is very unfair to, to start that in the middle of the movie when the Biden-Harris team came in and we're dealing with a lot. We have the strongest economy of any country in the world right now, and they are committed to making life more affordable for people on housing, drugs, uh, groceries, and the like. Donald okay. Trump isn't. Thank you so much. for Wow, guys, I'll end this video out like this. They're going to keep lying to you guys as long as you let them. As long as you keep believing the lies, they're going to keep lying to you guys and tell you that this is the best person. We all know that's not the best person. So I need you guys to like this video, spread the truth out there, whether it's my video, anybody else's video. Spread the truth. 
Like, comment, subscribe if you're new. And as always, let me know what to react to. We're out.